welcome you this afternoon to the funeral services for Sister Frances Johnson Monson, beloved wife and companion of nearly 65 years to President Thomas S. Monson. Her passing brings to a close an era during which she served as a wife, mother of three, grandmother of eight, and great-grandmother of eight. While her presence will be greatly missed, we gather to remember a remarkable woman who dedicated her life to serving the Lord. My mother deeply loved her family. After my parents married, my mother's greatest hope was to have children. As a family, we are so grateful to Frances Monson for her legacy, a legacy of humility, service, faithfulness, and love. I remember feeling mother's love as we talked and she truly listened to me. It has been said that listening is an act of love. Mother must have loved me and dad a lot because she listened to us a lot. <laughs> President Monson once said of his wife, I could not have asked for a more loyal, loving, and understanding companion. Whenever he spoke of the miraculous strength and mighty power of wives and mothers, I knew he was thinking of his sweet, eternal companion, Frances. Frances was truly an elect lady. She will receive an inheritance in science. She has always been a comfort to her husband, to her posterity, and to many friends all over the world. Now, Frances has entered a new sphere, and we mourn because we miss her. On the other hand, we are filled with thanksgiving. We all know that death is only a beautiful door into a more beautiful room. We celebrate together her righteous life. To our dear and precious friends, and we say goodbye for now, but not forever. As President Monson has so wisely taught us in the death of a loved one, that wherever we go in this beautiful world, a part of that person goes with us. And so it is with Frances Monson. She was an example of strength and purpose, a witness of God's love.